watching Steve Crump's final documentary, Sacrifice Across the Color Line. Steve couldn't have finished it without the help of his longtime friend and editor, Chris Tyndall. We sat down with Chris to talk about the project and what it meant to him and Steve. Uh, Chris, I appreciate you, you stopping by. Congratulations on the documentary. It is Thank just terrific work. Give us a little backstory here. How did you get connected with Steve on this project? So I met Steve in 2011 and um, was a student at a broadcasting school here in Charlotte. Mm -hmm. And so that's how we met. And throughout the years, he would always call me with different civil rights stories that he wanted to do. And about a year and a half ago, he called me and he said, hey, I got this idea for a story. I want you to, want you to work with me on it. And I said, okay, well, what is it? He said, well, I want to tell a different story of the civil rights movement. Yeah. I said, well, well, what? He said, well, I want to talk about all the people that gave their lives for the civil rights movement that you probably have never heard of. And I thought about it for a minute and I was like, wow. I was like, you know, that's something I've never thought about. Yeah. So I said, okay. And so, um, you know, the, the title of the piece is Sacrifices Across the Color Line. And of course, this story highlights people prominently white people that gave their lives for the civil rights movement mm -hmm. that you have never heard about. So once we kind of got into it, I just, I thought it was a great idea and I thought it was a story that needed to be told. So I was excited to be on board with it. That's the thing about it, every time Steve came on this newscast, I always said, you taught me something. He yeah. did that every time, didn't he? He did, for sure. Um, tell us about the process of working <laughs> together with Steve. We, we all know him here at WBTV, what that was like. What was it like for you to work with him? So. You know, you got to remember Steve was going through his battle with cancer right. during all this. So um, he would call me, you know, usually after he had done chemo that day, call me up. Hey, I'm coming over, you know. OK, well, are, are you feeling OK? Yeah, 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 I'm coming over. So he'd show up at the house about 7, 730 in the evening. Usually he'd bring dinner for <laughs> the wife and, and the kiddo. And, um, you know, we would catch up. Sometimes he would come in and just rest for a bit. and. Then it was straight to the to the computer and we're going to edit mm -hmm. and a lot of times we just sat there and edited till 11 o'clock at night and then once he got tired he'd go home i mean that was yeah. that was a process just grind it out and whatever time we had to, to work we would work what did the work mean to him i think the work meant a lot to him because as you guys probably know that i think working during his cancer treatments is kind of what kept him going you know and and I think that him just needing to be that consummate storyteller and tell those stories, I mean, that's who he was. So I think that's, I think that just kind of helped him get through everything and, and deal with what was really going on with him at the time. Um, before we went into the hospital for the last time, how close was the project to being finished? We was right there at the end. Um, and believe it or not, when we, the last time that we had spoken, he was planning on coming over to work. And so I didn't hear from him for a while. And then I got word that he was back in the hospital. And so the piece was pretty much done. It was a couple little things that needed to be trimmed up and mm -hmm. fixed and, and whatnot. But it was right there at the end. How hard was it for you to sit at those buttons at the end? I couldn't do it for a while. Yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. It was, it was tough. But, you know, after talking with Kathy, and, um, you know, just, it was one of those things that you had to see through, right. you know? So. We all we, miss we him to this know. day, don't we? I miss him every day, yeah. Um, I appreciate you coming in and, and walking us through it and, and sharing this last documentary for our viewers at home and be proud of the work you did. It's, it's tremendous stuff. Thank you, I appreciate it. Steve had a story on our newscast. He would call me after as I was driving home. He'd say, I think it worked. I know he's looking down right now tonight. Steve, it worked. No question about it. It worked. We love him. We miss him dearly. We're thinking about him tonight. We're thinking of you, Kathy, as well.